This is a 1949 Rolls Royce Silver Dawn. It has a handsome body finished in gray lacquer. Its luxurious interior is wrapped in navy blue leather and trimmed with real burl wood. Its front door is open backward, which makes for a more natural entrance and exit as long as the vehicle is not moving. It's powered by a 4.2 liter inline six cylinder engine. It has an eight gallon gas tank and gets about 12 miles to the gallon. So it's more suited for weddings and parades than for long road trips. Today, we're on the road with its owner, Terry Griffith. His family has owned the car for over 50 years. He has many memories of cruising with his grandfather and now Terry is using it to make his own memories with his family. Let's hear more about Terry's beautiful car and his journey during this episode of Christians in Cars Getting Coffee. How you doing? Good man, how you doing? Excellent. Man, good to see you. This you car too. is beautiful. Thank you for doing this, man. Almost as beautiful as the day. <laughs> I know. What a gorgeous day out here yeah, in St. Pete, man. Yeah, glad you get some time to get away. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Love, love taking a little ride in this vehicle. Hanging out with you, man. Summer is here. Yes, it is, man. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, kind of riding in style makes, makes it even better. Sorry, I can't uh, offer you air conditioning at this point. It's all right. We got the windows down. <laughs> Gonna cruise here. Uh, how you been doing? You been doing good? Very well. Awesome, man. Um, good days. Enjoy the weekends for the uh, time to just be relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, um, what year is this car? It's a 1949. Nice. And, and you, how'd you get it? So this was my grandfather's car that uh, he used to drive me around after church on Sunday afternoons when I was five, six, seven years old. And it takes a whole nother level of Sunday afternoon drives, huh? That's right. <laughs> That's right. So I, I completely remember my pop-up uh, from, uh, from those days. But uh, as, we, uh, as he got older, uh, this car just sat in the garage and he wow. wouldn't take it out that often so uh, I just simply asked him one day called him up and I asked him what he was going to do with the old rolls and he said I don't know why and I said well I'd like to take care of it and he said you would would you <laughs> and I said absolutely <laughs> so uh, he said well come on up and get it so from that point, uh, my father and I oh, cool. took a trip up there and needed to get some new tires yeah. on it. But uh, we got it fixed up and had it shipped down here. And it was a great, great trip for three generations all around. Yeah. So, so Terry, how did how'd you and Jim find Radius, man? Well, we were at a church for 13 or 14 years, and things started getting a little stale. Just didn't see vision. Mm. Uh, traditions kind of got in the way, and didn't really feel life. Mm. And we were visiting a church up in Pensacola with our friends. I think that's my friend's church, Tim, Tim Payne, right? Momentum Church, Momentum. right? Momentum. Yeah. And they met in a school in a nice community and very friendly. But during that service, one person accepted Christ and the whole crowd erupted, clapping, cheering. That's awesome. And that was what one thing I had been missing. Mm just the experience of God moving through people. So we talked to him and he said there's a radius down in St. Pete and quite like momentum. So we checked it out and uh, you probably remember the day yeah. when Jennifer and I decided to check it out. We pulled up to the <laughs> shuffleboard club and there was one man with a beard standing there. There's nobody there, huh? Nobody there. And she's like, are you going to talk to that guy? And sure enough, it was you <laughs> saying no service today. <laughs> and because you were having a baptism that day and yeah. being there for the people, we yeah. said, okay. 
So uh, we did come back the following Sunday. Which I'm glad. Thank you for giving us a second try. Absolutely. Anyone, any pastor who's there during nine hours to just give that time <laughs> had to give you a second. <laughs> and uh, just what a real experience at Radius yeah. to where we just kept coming back and seeing what Radius is all about. And to me, Radius is a perfect example of St. Petersburg. Mm. They're of all walks of people coming to join together for one reason, for the Lord. That's awesome. And, uh, and it just, you know when something feels right? Yeah, yeah. It felt right. So we're still here today. Hey, that's awesome, man. Yes. And we're glad. You guys are um, so glad to have you. You guys are a great part of Radius, man. Well, thank you. Terry, man, I'm so glad you could hang out. I love riding your car, man. A beautiful car. Um, we're kind of doing this thing called On the Road, a series of summer where Jesus meets us in our journey. And we uh, want to get together and find cool cars and drink some great coffee and hear a really great story. And so tell me, Terry, you know, do you believe that God really meets us in our journey? Absolutely. Tell me about a time that God, that Jesus really showed up in your journey, in your life. I'll tell you it would be the very first time. And uh, I grew up in a childhood with a believing mother and an alcoholic father mm. and I always going to church every Sunday and in fact the car we were in that's what I mentioned uh, uh, my grandfather used to take me for a ride in that car after church on Sundays when we go over there in the afternoon but growing up in that kind of environment um, as I got to be an early teen 13 years old I started searching for fulfillment in different areas, right. such as drinking, partying, staying out late, just doing the wrong things with the wrong crowd. Yeah. There was one night where I drank so much that I had to go to the hospital, and I had a .38 blood alcohol level. Wow. Almost died. It was within a few weeks of that that I had gone back to uh, a Young Life group that went on a retreat that weekend and it was all the kids that I'd grown up with but we went on a retreat to somewhere in Lakeland I still can't tell you the place <clears throat> to some basketball auditorium can't picture who was speaking have you ever tried to find it I haven't, uh, I haven't. hey that's not like a road trip right there but I know because there Jesus met me in that auditorium it wasn't a person that brought me to Jesus. It was Jesus that said, surrender what you have been looking for and follow me. Wow. And right there, I raised my hands, I lifted my hands, and I gave him my life. Wow. And that was just a recharging feeling, like a battery and a battery recharger, where my life was being filled. It was the, the holes in my heart that we're just being filled up again. Wow. So really finding your purpose, finding what you've been searching for in Jesus. Yes. He met you on a journey, right? In the middle of, somewhere in the middle of Florida. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere on a road in an auditorium. And, uh, and it's never been the same since. Now I have that peace. I have that joy. I have that love. All because Jesus came into my life and found me when I was a young teen searching in the wrong direction. Wow. That's awesome, Terry. That's, a, that's an amazing story of God meeting your journey. And what's cool, how your journey has shifted from that day forward. And now you get to be the type of father that God created you to be to your sons. That's right. Which is awesome. And as I became a father with children, I really began to understand how God loves me. Unconditionally, full of grace, full of mercy. Boy, those children, what a blessing they are. But they can get you yeah. <laughs> under your skin. Yeah. But it's still that loving forgiveness, that grace, 
that I would do anything for them. I would die for them, just like he sent Jesus to die for us. That's awesome. So it's a great, it's a great um, message to fathers who have children, understanding God's love for us. And it's also a great message for God will seek us out on a journey. Sometimes we might be going down the wrong path. And that's what I truly believe it took in my life for me to see that other side and how empty I really was mm. to see how full wow. I am awesome. him now. Terry, man, thank you. Thank you for sharing your beautiful car, great stroll on a beautiful day. And man, thank you for sharing this part of your journey with us. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs>